Bonjour, bienvenue sur le journal du geek. Donc je suis sur le stand de TI avec donc pour la démo de l'OMAP 5, donc de la, plate, de la plateforme OMAP 5 de Texas Instruments. Donc je okay. suis. So here we are at Mobile World Congress and we're demonstrating the, the OMAP 5430 processor, the OMAP 5 generation. And, and this is a new device. Uh, we're in a prototype stage and it, it will be in, in products. Uh, Uh, early in 2013, this device had, makes use of uh, two Cortex A15 cores. Uh, this is the latest core from ARM that is tremendously more efficient than the, the prior generation Cortex A9. We, uh, this is running a 3D UI that we're running on, uh, on, on those A15s and using graphic overlays to, uh, to put all the different images in. Um, So Rupesh is demonstrating the, the, the UI and can, if you can put up, so the 3D engine generates the, the images and are, uh, and are overlaid on, on, on the, the frames mm -hmm. and you can see the 3D engine. So what this OMAP 5 brings is not just an increase in the ARM performance, it has two additional Cortex cores, the Cortex M4 cores that we use to offload tasks so that we can put those A15s in a low power state. And the M4s manage anything related to imaging or video encode and decode. So it manages all of the data streams without any load on the A15s. Additionally, this device brings two uh, a dual core graphics from Imagination Technologies, their latest cores. Uh, the, the so we've got two A15s, two Cortex M4s, Two graphics cores, SGX 544 cores from Imagination Technologies, a, a 2D graphics engine for doing overlays, lots of security accelerators, 1080p60 encode and decode capabilities. These are separate engines doing all of these processing. And in the end, we get this. Let's let's demonstrate something else on the OMAP 5 if we can. So the OMAP, the, the OMAP 5 platform is not just about the A15 core. It's And a lot of core uh, around. So the A15 is a wonderful asset, but we have a lot of assets around that A15 that, that enable the lowest power processing. So the specific core selection within the device to optimize the power for a smartphone or a tablet, or we're taking this device outside of smartphone and tablets into the cars, in, into uh, home appliances. This is a very exciting product. So you're That's seeing nice. HTML5 carousel here. Um, and so the IVA HD, that's the, that's, this is the video encode and decode engine. So this processing is not running on the A15s. This processing is being done on separate engines on the device between the Cortex M4s and the IVA uh, image encode and decode engines. Okay. And, and over here is, a, is a, we've posted this web, yeah, this, we'll... this to YouTube. We, we, this is not a setup. This is, we ran 20 consecutive web pages loads with OMAP 5 running at only 800 megahertz mm -hmm. versus a shipping uh, quad core Cortex A9 processor. Uh, there, there are three activities going on the, the, the web page loads, MP3 playback, And, uh, and a file download all happening simultaneously. The OMAP 5 at a much lower frequency completed the, the web pages loads in 95 seconds. We're still waiting for that Quad A9 to finish, and it's going to take it over 200 seconds. So, okay. at, at a much lower, so the A15 in the context of OMAP 5 is going to bring consumers tremendous uh, processing capabilities. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. It was a little bit hard. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. Bon ben voilà, je crois qu'on a à peu près fini sur euh, la plateforme OMAP 5. Euh, donc comme vous pouvez le voir, avec du dual core, on peut faire pas mal de oh, choses. He's gonna show up ah, et on nous propose même une démo en 3D pour finir. Et donc, this is going to show off the, the shading capabilities and uh, uh, really load up the, 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 the graphics engine. Okay. Um, so this is a game from, from Crytek. 
Uh, can tell you the so he's showing you that it, it's it's making use of, the, of lighting corrections and, and uh, HDR rendering, high. and you see the complex shading that's going on. This is all being done in the graphics engine. So this, so OMAP five graphics is about five x improvement over the prior generation. Voilà, donc la grande conclusion finale pour le MAP5, bah, c'est de dire que finalement, est-ce qu'on a besoin des quad cœurs comme Nvidia essaie de vendre Finalement, le TI s'en sort très très bien au niveau des performances. Et à ma foi, je suis impatient de tester, puisque ça ne sortira malheureusement qu'en fin d'année. Voilà, merci beaucoup pour votre attention et à très bientôt sur le Journal du Geek. Merci beaucoup.